Good morning, everyone. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Elder Peter. I'm not sure where you went, but um, I've been in your presence before, and I know some of your background, and uh, you've come from many places, and uh, I'm always impressed with your ceremony. Uh, I am a politician, and I don't know what it takes to become an elder, but I'm getting there. <laughs> so, uh, good morning, elders, chiefs, ladies, and gentlemen. It is an honor to join Clint Davis as co-chair of the Aboriginal Entrepreneurs Conference and Trade Show 2011. And uh, it's a very auspicious start, and uh, maybe this can be the start of something uh, uh, greater, which is uh, an annual event. The Canadian Council for Aboriginal Business has put together a greater agenda for you with opportunities for networking and information sharing. Forums like this one today help build and strengthen partnerships and business connections, and I'm glad to be part of this. Uh, last January, Prime Minister Harper declared 2011 to be the year of the entrepreneur, to highlight the essential role that small and medium-sized businesses play in a strong Canadian economy. Our government recognizes the importance of business development and growth to First Nation Inuit and Métis people. The Prime Minister himself stated that the first priority is economic development, this is obviously the most essential step for improving the lives of Aboriginal people and their communities. The opportunities for economic development and business growth have never been greater, and Aboriginal participation in both the labour market as well as economic development initiatives across the country are an important part of a strong and dynamic Canadian economy. With more than 400,000 Aboriginal youth projected to enter the labour market by 2020, Aboriginal participation in the labour market is crucial. Corporate Canada is working with Aboriginal business and communities. Already over $300 billion in potential resource developments have been identified in or near Aboriginal communities. We have Aboriginal leadership. Uh, some examples, uh, Chief Clarence Louie, who has led the Asuyas Indian Band to be a driver in the BC Okanagan economy. President Clem Chartier, who looks to entrepreneurship as a means of securing the well-being of the Métis. Uh, and Pita Atomy, who has steered the Makavik Corporation into the most important engine of economic growth in Nunavik. They all recognize that business strengthens quality of life and self-sufficiency of their communities. Our government is committed to working in partnership with Aboriginals across the country to increase economic development opportunities. That's why I am announcing, I'm pleased to announce today that our government is investing more than $3 million to the Métis Entrepreneurship Fund. This fund is jointly managed by the uh, Peter Gasson Métis Development Corporation in Alberta, Sask Métis Economic Development Corporation, and the Louis Riel Capital Corporation in Manitoba. This contribution will support opportunities for Métis businesses to access financing between $250,000 and $1 million. With this funding, Métis entrepreneurs will be able to expand their business and create jobs across the prairies. This identifies or this addresses an identified need for financing greater than $250,000, which has been available up to now. This is another concrete measure our government is taking to strengthen the economic development of Aboriginal peoples. This investment's uh, building on our government federal framework for Aboriginal economic development. 
We have also taken other important steps to modernize and improve federal support. Uh, just last week, I signed a, an M, a Memorandum of Understanding with Chief Robert Louis, Chair of the First Nations Land Management Board, and Chief Austin Bear, Chair of the First Nation Land Management Resource Centre, which will increase access to the First Nations land management regime and allow more First Nations to undertake greater responsibility for land management and respond more quickly to economic development opportunities. This is real-time management, not Department of Aboriginal Affairs and Northern Development Management. And this is fantastic. A study of the uh, First Nation land management uh, uh, regime uh, member communities by KPMG indicates major economic development progress as a result of uh, be, uh, membership in uh, FNLMA. And um, this announcement will immediately bring about uh, 15 more uh, First Nations into that uh, regime. I also announced in the spring a joint action plan with the Assembly of First Nations uh, to work together to improve the long-term prosperity of First Nation people and all Canadians. This action plan identifies four shared priority areas for action, education, good governance, negotiation and implementation, and economic development. We have also been moving ahead with a legislative agenda that supports economic development, strong governance, and regulatory reforms, especially in the North. Our government also has an action plan in place on specific claims that has a strong record and is delivering concrete results. Since 2007, when we started with about 1,000 backlog specific claims, we have successfully addressed over 445. We are committed to settling these claims and will continue to deliver results. Never before have so many opportunities existed for Aboriginal people across Canada. Later today, you'll be able to join one of the workshops on some exciting resource development projects going on in Canada. From the diverse possibilities in the Atlantic region to the opportunities for potash development in Saskatchewan, to, to mining developments north of 60, uh, and elsewhere, a wealth of business opportunities are there to be explored. It's clear that partnership continues to grow between Canada's business community and Aboriginal peoples. Together, we are working to make strategic, targeted investments that respond to the needs of the communities and ensure they're well positioned to be full participants. As Aboriginal business people and entrepreneurs, you are key to Canada's future prosperity. So I wish all of you every success in your endeavors. I would now like to take this opportunity to officially launch Aboriginal Affairs Northern Development Canada's video to promote and share the success of Aboriginal businesses across the country. Thank you very much.